Hi, today I'm going to talk about getting the right balance between now and the future. What? Thinking about things that we do now and thinking about the future and trying to get the balance uh, between now and the future. Hey, well, these are some quotes that I came across and I thought hmm, maybe sort of wise ideas about balancing what we need now with the future. Okay, what are you talking about? Let's have a look. So we'll go straight. Okay, number one, let me read this. It says, we tend to overestimate what we can do in a day and underestimate what we can achieve in a decade. Decade is 10 years. Miraculous things, amazing things. Miraculous things can be accomplished if you give it 10 years. A long time of small gains will overcome even big mistakes. So this is the idea that making small changes every day, you don't notice, but after 10 years, it makes a big difference. And the key is you can make a terrible mistake in your life, but if you give it time, you can recover from that mistake. Huh? Uh, certainly that's true with money. Like if you invest money and you put a little bit every month, after 10 years, you've got a lot of money. Um, also learning a new skill, painting, you know, do a little bit every day after 10 years, you'll be pretty good at whatever you choose to do. That's the idea. It's the, the difficult, <laughs> the difficult thing is sticking at that something every day. It's easy to say, hard to do, but that's where good habits come in. Okay. Number two, actual costs are two times that X means times, two times listed prices. This is because of the energy time money needed to set the new item up, learn, maintain, repair, and dispose of at the end. Not all prices appear on labels. That means, for example, if you, you know, if you go to Ikea or Ikea, as we say in English, and you think, oh, look at the cheap furniture. I'll get this uh, uh, bookcase. Oh, it's so cheap. Yeah, but it's not really cheap because you pay the money you have to take it home, put it in your car, drive back with all the petrol cost. And then you've got the time of putting it all together and making it, and then you use it for 10 years, and then it falls apart, and then you have to throw it away, and you have to pay for that. So often the actual cost is two times the official price. I'm using IKEA, IKEA as an example, but it could be for anything. Can you think of some examples? Right, number three, I like this one. 90% of everything is rubbish. If you think you don't like opera, romance novels, TikTok, country music, vegan food, NFTs, keep trying to see if you can find the 10% that's not rubbish. So this is the idea that most things are not very good. So when you say, oh, I don't like TikTok, it's, it's all rubbish. Well, yeah, 90% is rubbish. 90% of everything is rubbish you have to find the 10% that's not. I like that one because it, sometimes it does feel that all the new technology is a waste of time, but maybe some of it's not. Okay, number four, what you do on your bad days matters more than what you do on your good days. What does this mean? If you're having a bad day, how do you keep going? If you give up, drink lots of beer and collapse in the corner. It's maybe not good. Uh, I don't know. So good days are easy, easy to do what you're supposed to do. It's the bad days that decide how successful you will be. Hmm. Maybe this is connected to the first one about doing something good a little bit every day. I'm not sure. Number five, when you have some success, the feeling of being an imposter can be real. Who am I fooling? But when you create things that only you, with your unique talents and experience, can do, then you are absolutely not an imposter. It's your duty to work on things that only you can do. Imposter means a fake, not real person. So if we are successful, for example, uh, well, okay, Tower English is so, so successful. Maybe I feel bad. Maybe I think, well, I'm not a real teacher. I don't teach at a school. I, I don't deserve my success. You feel like an imposter if you're success, successful. This is called imposter syndrome. Um, that's a real feeling. Many people have that. 
I'm not a real author. Why am I so successful? Why do I make money? I'm not really as good as somebody. But if you are making things that you that only you can make and only you can do, then you're not an imposter. You're doing something worthwhile for everyone. So I hope these lessons are worthwhile, are useful for, for some people, for you. Uh, then, then I am a real teacher. <laughs> imposter syndrome. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. Okay, number six. Don't wait for the storm to pass. Dance in the rain. I think this is made by somebody who hasn't been in a typhoon. But I think that's a good point. It's like with coronavirus, isn't it? You can't stop living just because there's coronavirus. You have to continue somehow. Keep dancing, even though it's raining. Good advice. Number seven, about 99% of the time, the best time is right now. So in other words, almost, almost always, the best time to start something new or do something is right now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Do you think so? I kind of know that, but it's easy to put off till tomorrow what you could do today. Easy for me. Uh, okay, let's see. I think I've got three questions. Let me move this down. Okay, number one, can you think of an example of a true cost of something being twice its sticker price? Oops, price. price. Uh, I talked about IKEA, IKEA. Anything else that you pay something for, but actually the real price is much more. Number two, what do you think? Oh my goodness, look at all these typing mistakes. What do you think it means that what you do on your bad days matters more than what you do on your good days? Yeah, is that right? What does it mean? I'm not sure. Number three, which one of these is the best advice? Why? Okay, so you've got seven pieces here. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that on your screen. Turn your telephone sideways if you're using telephone. Okay, which one of these do you think is the best? Which one's the worst? Okay, I'll be interested to hear your answers. And uh, I'll see you. Uh, see you when I see you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>